Korean people, I tried to, uh, decided to share this trip that I do, this road trip that I do, from California to Vegas. It's a mental road trip that I do, that I really enjoy it. It's basically from here, Laguna, California, to Las Vegas, Nevada. However, I go way up north to Kernville. Kernville is a um, old mine, a gold town, in the middle of nowhere in California. However, the cool thing about that is that from here to Las Vegas, usually, usually it's three hours. I'm making this loop that takes seven hours. And uh, why I'm doing that? Because from here, going to Kernville and going to Las Vegas, the scenery changes four to five times. So from nice beach to uh, lagoons to sierras and canyons and desert. So I'm gonna try to capture all of that in one trip, which is seven hours. So it starts right now. The weather is a little bit funky right now, but still you can see the, the, the shore. Next stop is gonna be a Crystal Cove and you're gonna see also nice cliffs and beautiful ocean water. Stick around and you're gonna see all this beautiful scenery changing four or five times in one day. So this is Crystal Cove. Unfortunately, again, the, the fog is coming out. The sun is not out. But if this was nice and clear, it's all super blue. And there is a coast right there of Laguna. That's where I came from. And there is a cliff that goes along all the way to the coast, uh, going towards um, uh, Newport. But it's a beautiful beach, almost like a desert beach, that you can have fun, chill. But when the sun is out, trust me, it's, it's heaven on earth. So, so far, beach coast. Now we're gonna head up to the Sierras. Now, of course, as I left Laguna, the sun came out because no, there's no fog. And um, I'm finally now start going up on the Sierras. Whoa, bubbles fell. But uh, that's what you see now. So basically now I'm starting to climb up the Sierras. And uh, this reminds me of Europe. If you drive to the canyons uh, in the Alps, that's what you see, the road that you saw carved in the mountain. And right below, we have a nice river. So that's the second look. This uh, canyon, canyon river uh, running through it. And right now it's summertime, so the water level is very low right now. But I came here in September, uh, not September, uh, February, the water level is much higher. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Try to get a little closer. So this is your second look. The canyon with the European style look. Second look, heading for the Sierras now. So, driving from the river canyon, we hit a plateau. I don't know if you saw the road that's kind of windy. It's a windy road. Actually, we hit a plateau. The plateau means like the top of the mountains, and it's kind of flat. And then, in about 15 minutes, look what you see. I'm not gonna go all the way down there because I still got a road to go. So basically this 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 lake 
It's right between the mountains and the plateau. And the water on this is unbelievable. I've been here before, but you can actually camp around and so forth. You can stay here as long as you want. And, and the water levels are very low right now, dude. I mean, it's, it's sad because I remember the water being way up here before, but it's still a beautiful view. Uh, from here now, I'll be getting to Kern River, uh, Kernville in about, about another half an hour, which is halfway point. So this is the third look, plateaus uh, with a lake. I'm gonna go for the Sierras right now. We still got a little more to climb. Hope you're enjoying this trip. So I'm in Kernview right now. Now, there's nothing really crazy and beautiful about Kernville. The only reason why I found this place is because a while back I wanted to do whitewater kayaking in a place called uh, Seven Teacups. Seven Teacups about an hour and a half away from here. So that's how I found this place. Uh, and I went kayaking over there, but I found this little town. This little town is so tiny and is a um, it's an old gold mine, Western Gold Mine City, very tiny. But a lot of people come over here to do white water rafting and white water kayaking. And that's how I found this place. However, finding this place it was what brought me to find this beautiful road from California to Kernville to Las Vegas. So, so far you've seen uh, beaches, uh, beach coast. Then you saw uh, river, uh, river canyons. Then you saw plateaus. Now we see Sierras and river. And pretty soon you're gonna hit the, the desert, uh, the Death Valley. And that's what's going on right now. But so far, so good. Come here, there you go. All good, yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, you're, you're tiny. Dude, you need some, you need some food. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just got, I just got to the Mojave Desert right now. <clears throat> it's pretty hot, about 100 degree, but at least the sun is out. I was going to go to, um, I was going to go to Death Valley for the Death Valley it's about an hour that way and Vegas is only about half an hour that way I'm losing sunlight so I'm just gonna take a walk over here right now but so I'm in Mojave Desert but I w want to go to to do Death Valley but it's still one hour to go towards that way and I just decided to stop over here um, people think that I'm a, I'm a lonely person. I'm not a lonely person, I'm a loner. I love to spend time with myself. Um, and uh, I, do every year. I do this every year because when you expose yourself to some place like this, without people around you, it's so vast, it's so big. It's so vast, it's so big. And it's quiet, and um, it makes you feel like you're just a little pebble in this gigantic world. You make you feel very humble. You make you feel like like you're just a min minuscule part of this gigantic world. And I recommend for all of you guys to do that because think about this: how many times in your life? that you really buy yourself, that you actually can take a time by yourself and, and find a place like this, you know? Every day you have some people around you, you know, you have, you have, you're talking all the time. So, as I am doing right now, so sometimes it's just good for you to, to come to a place like this, especially when it involves nature, and uh, just walk around and don't say anything, which I'm doing right now. But I do this every year so I can reset my mind, reset my goals. 
I call it my mental hygiene. I clean everything I have to clear, put it out, and reset for the new things to come. You know, I just missed the sunset, the bummer. But it's all good. I'm gonna take a walk over here. And end the day. The good thing about it is that the only thing came here is your steps, nothing else. On your steps and maybe the wind in your ear. That's something very soothing and calming about this. You know? You don't know how it feels like until you experiment it. And that's why I suggest for everybody to try this. Alright guys, be good to each other. This road trip, it's about eight hours if you go straight. However, it took me almost 12 hours because I stopped and I, I did this. Alright guys, I find I'm gonna shut up, enjoy, enjoy the silence. See ya!